a land of contrast where dramatic mountain terrains and lush landscape envelop poverty-stricken communities. This is KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa's most populated province with over 10 million people. Mainly rural, the province bears the highest burden of disease in the country and with that, the challenge to ensure accessible healthcare to all, especially the poor and vulnerable. Traditionally, throughout the world, including here in Durban, medical students have been trained in large tertiary hospitals and large centres, such as uh, King Edward VIII Hospital and of course the Albert Latuli Central Hospital here in Durban. The trouble is that this is in many ways a very artificial environment. Less than 1% of the province's healthcare takes place in a hospital such as that. So we really can't expect to be relevant if our students are learning to practice their medicine under conditions which apply to just 1% of the actual circumstances under which they're meant to practice. So the answer clearly to increase relevance is to take training to the areas where the bulk of healthcare is actually provided. Hospital sites in the program were chosen for their wealth of experience and their emphatic social accountability towards the communities they serve. Bethesda Hospital ranked amongst the most established in KwaZulu-Natal, the Church of Scotland Hospital, infamous for discovering XDR-TB. The list goes on and with it, the people who, against all odds, make a difference despite the daily challenges of working within a resource-constrained environment. The university takes an approach of reflecting on what we're doing and trying to then improve how we go forward. Within the medical curriculum and the broader health sciences, we've seen many challenges of the curriculum not really producing fit for purpose graduates in the new South Africa. And what this has meant is that we've had to reflect on what we do and to engage with our partner, the Provincial Department of Health, to better understand their needs for graduates from our programs so that our graduates can deliver on health service for our people. It's a type of preparation that we need to ensure that students are ready for. And we are moving in the curriculum for medicine in this university, we are moving them from the basic knowledge and skills, theoretical knowledge and basic skills early on in their career to more and more of practical work. And this sort of practical work helps to prepare them for the reality on the ground. There's no other place that's really well situated to prepare them, to give them that opportunity for hands-on experience than the district hospitals we have in this province. My advice to the students who are going to go next is have a positive mindset about the place because when we first went there we were negative about the whole thing but once you go there it's a brilliant experience and if you go in with a positive mindset you'll enjoy yourself a lot more and you'll learn a lot from the people guys that are there. This experience has changed me a lot in my thinking towards rural health and actually community service in the medical field. It's shown me how much can be done and how much more needs to be done from us in South Africa to take care of people in the rural areas and I'm now seriously considering going out and working in rural health. Out of this experience, uh, the things that I've learned is that um, basically it is important that we should understand that as doctors we are put there to make a difference and in the rural areas we learn that a lot because patients there uh, they have such faith in doctors, they, have, they, they 
they appreciate the fact that there are doctors around. And um, in my experience is that here, like here in Durban and around uh, the, the cities, usually being a doctor is like, okay, uh, you're just a doctor. But in rural areas, people honor that. And uh, those things like taught me that you, as a doctor, you should learn to humble yourself to, or, or around people. You should learn that uh, people are people. And uh, you as a person, you should be able to assist them uh, always. As a person who comes from a rural area, I feel uh, I want to go back there. I want to go back and serve the people there because they are so appreciative of what we do, and they are so um, they are so uh, welcoming. And it's so uh, it's 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 the best thing ever to watch a person get better when you have done something, made a difference in their life. Not only just a medical difference, but you go into the social aspects of the patient. You go into the background of the patient, and you try to make a difference in those aspects. So. Uh, me, as a person who comes from a real area, I really think that I would love to go back to a real area and serve the patients there. I realize that it's medicine is not a one-man show. No one is trying to be a hero. You always have to work with other people, the nurses, the physiotherapists, and everyone else integrated and work together as a team to successfully manage a patient. So, learned quite a lot. Yeah, being in a real setting um, is a uh, real hospitals are usually under resourced in terms of uh, staff, in terms of facilities, and in terms of uh, equipment. So uh, one one great thing I learned is improvisation. You have to do with what you have uh, in order to manage uh, patients, and that is one thing that I learned, and I believe that it prepares me to also work in in future work in under resourced settings. Uh, quite effectively instead of getting frustrated or complaining about uh, the lack of resources. Uh, so that was uh, quite a great thing. Uh, my experience has been amazing and uh, absolutely life-changing and you know I've, I've learned so much in these past six weeks. If I could go back I could do it for the rest of my life because I felt like I've grown so much as as a person, as a clinician, as a professional, as a scholar and a human being and it, 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 I think everybody should experience what we did and appreciate the art of medicine because I feel in the rural area they still appreciate medicine as an art and as a professional and it's really about the patient and the community as a whole which is different from tertiary hospitals we see in the urban areas it's a totally different environment and it was I thoroughly enjoyed it so one of the reasons that students staff and uh, professionals don't want to go back to rural areas to study or to work is a feeling of isolation both from a personal level they feel that they are uh, going, to, going to be locked up in some area that has no access to friends family support but also academic supervision there's a perception that if I go to a rural area I'm not going to have the same standard of teaching because I don't have the same academic support. And this has been shown in research to be one of the main reasons, for example, that people are not retained within rural areas. So based on this, MEPI decided to put in place at uh, 10 hospitals in KwaZulu-Natal um, an IT infrastructure that would allow students and staff to be able to get onto the internet to be able to access wireless internet to, so that they could both keep in contact with uh, family, with friends, but also to keep in contact with the educational institution. My first impression when I got to Bethesda Hospital was that it's, uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's it's very it's remote. It's it's on the on top of a mountain. So to get to other places, I thought it would be very difficult. Having been uh, studied in Cuba, 
and coming back to South Africa, I've noticed the difference in the illnesses or the common uh, presentations that patients come with. Usually there we have, uh, you, you get like chronic illnesses, like there's high prevalence of hi hypertension, of diabetes. Here you get more of uh, communicable diseases and you, as a, a student who studied there, I had to come back here and try to get more knowledge on, treat, on dealing with uh, acute illnesses. My biggest advice to students would be to keep an open mind. This, they must know that this will be very beneficial to them. If they apply themselves to it, they will learn a lot than staying in their room and reading a book. This experience actually reminded me why when I was young I wanted to be a doctor. I would definitely go back. I had a good experience. Um, like I, I was saying, I grew so much. My clinical skills have improved my communication skills. I mean, when I got into medicine, I, I did it because I loved it. And the first couple of years, they are very difficult. You get lost with the textbooks. And so the whole fun of practicing medicine is just lost along the way, tutorials, etc. But when you're really out there and you see the work that you do and how people appreciate it, it makes it worth it. You just have that encouragement to wake up every morning knowing that you are going to change people's lives. It's a huge responsibility, especially on a student, but it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. So I would definitely go back. What I would like to say as a, a, a head of uh, the Department of Health and KZN is that um, the university has taken a bold step to send students out there. We are going to have challenges. We will have challenges in relation to the whole arrangement of their transportation, the whole arrangement of their meals, the logistics, because it's a first. We are all learning and they must come forward when there are any areas that they are not happy about so that we can learn from their experiences and improve the experience for the sake of what the student will draw from that exposure. In their lifetime, they might never again see what they will see when they are there. So for me, I envy them. <laughs>